um, on 2014, possibly around March of that year, one guy came to my gym because someone told him that Ripex Fit was a good gym for him to go and start working out. He came originally from New York and he moved to Wilmington because he was trying to change his life for better. He waited at the time more than he possibly wanted around 270 pounds and um, he started training at Rip Exfit um, the last day of that week when he joined he was possibly very very sore for all that week of training And uh, we went out for one of our runs downtown as a cool down, like a 10 minute, 15 minute run. And possibly not even five minutes on the run. He looked at me, he was kind of getting behind, and he said to me, I have to go back to the gym. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm just too tired. I can't do this any longer. And I told him, okay, go back. We'll see you when we get back. So we finished our run and we went back to the gym. And there he was, he was stretching, doing some foam roller because his calf were cramping and he was very tired and sore. And I saw him a little defeated possibly like saying, okay, this is not for me. I don't know what I'm doing here. And I remember that I came close to him and people that already know me know how I am. And I said, and I touch, touch his shoulder with one of my hand. And I said, Andrew, you're gonna go to your house and you're gonna go and sign for a Spartan race. You're gonna sign up for Washington. He's in July. We were around May. He looked at me and he said, but I just almost died with, almost, with not even three, five minutes on this run. And I said, you have plenty of time. You're gonna start training every day very hard. And if you skip days and you stop training, you're not gonna make it. So at night, I received an email with Andrew, Andrew's registration from a Spartan race in July. And he said to me, you just tell me exactly what I need to do and I will do it. I don't care how, how much it will take. I don't care what I have to do, I'm gonna do it. And he start training for that race like I've never seen anybody training for a Spartan race. Nobody. Nobody. All out. Race came, Washington DC. We stay in his house. He used to have a house. He was having a house in uh, Georgetown. And we had a great weekend. He ran the race. I ran that race in around 56, 57 minutes. Andrew ran the race in two hours and like 10, 20 minutes. Took him two hours and 10, 20 minutes. While I was waiting for him to finish, I said, I was with Ian at the time and I said, where the hell is Andrew? And he said, still running. I said, oh shit, still running, it's a long time. So, 
we were waiting, 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 waiting. We were drinking one, maybe two, couple beers there when we finished. And then I, I think one of us said, hey, Andrew is coming. Andrew is coming. And I turned and I never seen anybody finishing a Spartan race with that huge smile that I see on Andrew. I never seen anybody with that smile. He was possibly the happiest person I ever seen finishing a Spartan race. Obviously we celebrated, we were so happy. Andrew was a poster child. After that weekend on Monday, I don't even think, not even, I don't, I don't remember possibly one or two days after we finished the race, possibly less. I got another email from Andrew and he signed up in advance for a Spartan Super that is between eight to 10 miles and a beast that is 12 plus mile. And I remember that I called him back and I said, you are freaking crazy. He went far and beyond for what I expected. I thought he was gonna run one and then prepare and maybe run another sprint. He went far and beyond. He went, I won a trifecta. And he's freaking, and I said again, I'm gonna do everything you said, everything, because I want a trifecta. A trifecta for people that don't run Spartan race is when you complete a, su a sprint, a super, and a beast at the same year. And he ran a very hard super. We went to New Jersey. And for people that run the Spartan race in New Jersey know that it's one of the hardest of the year. He finished that. He did an awesome job. His running was getting better. He lost a lot of weight for that race. And then we start training for the beast. He finished the beast too. He lost 75, almost 80 pounds from May, April, May to December that year, November. So that is how I want to remember Andrew. How as a person will be hearing uh, that did a full mind and body transformation because he believed that he could. So, and I'm gonna say this here. Every August the 24th, we're gonna do a workout named Andrew. 